Shalom Aleichem, everybody. Hope all is well. We have to know that the third temple will be built in the Holy Land of Israel extremely, extremely soon. And this is such an interesting idea because for some reason it's controversial. The, the world gets very excited when the Jewish people speak about this idea. But the truth is that the world is so focused on this is because this is the purpose of reality. This is the holiest place on earth, the Temple Mount and the third temple. And this is the place where God's glory will be revealed to the world. So surely there's a there's a sensitivity to this idea because it's the most crucial piece of land on earth. And that is why people are either very for this idea or God forbid against it. But they're only against it if they misunderstand and if God forbid they are against God Almighty. Because if you're against the Jewish people, you're against his children. You're against his nation. As it says, Ki chalak havaya amoy. The Jewish people are a part of God. So if you turn on the Jewish people, you turn on God himself. Now, the third temple will be built speedily in its days. This is something we say every day before prayer. We say, and at the end of our prayer, we say, Hashem, may it be your will that you build the temple speedily in our days and you give us our place in your Torah. What does this mean? This means that we want to see the revelation of God in this world. Just like we're, we're in the final generation, we want to see our place in the Torah. The Torah, the most, the main event has yet to happen yet. All the beautiful stories we read about in the Torah and the Bible, they're amazing. But we shouldn't be looking back like, ah, oh, the good old days. No, the best is yet to come. We're in the final generation. The third and everlasting temple will be built in our days, and that will be the height of the Bible, of the Torah. We're in the new chapter of, of reality. This is what's been promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Obviously, the Torah never changes, but the promised prophecy in the Torah has yet to happen yet. It's happening in our time. So we're actually in the most exciting point of history. We shouldn't look back the good old days. No, we say, give us our place in your Torah. We want to see the, the, the prophecy happen. We want to see our, we want to be the subject of your Torah. This is what we have to note. We have to know that the land belongs to the Jewish people, but we need the Messiah to come to build the temple. Obviously, the part of it will be, be built in heaven. Part of it will be built down here on earth. But we just want to see the third temple, which will facilitate the revelation of God throughout the world. Again, it's not just a building, but rather it's a place which unifies and, per and causes a fusion of heaven and earth and causes a flow of divinity into the world and from Jerusalem to the rest of the world. So this is something we should all yearn for. We should imagine it and realize that this is a reality, that this godly reality is awaiting us and will be revealed at any moment now. Thank you, and I hope you like this message and may it happen immediately.